here might know me already, but some of you might not know me, right? Yes, so before I introduce myself today, I have something to show you. Look at the girl in the slide. You might think that she looks like me, but I don't want you to confuse between her and myself. We may be come from the different era. Yes, yeah, so by what I can see her in the screen, she might look cute to me. Yes, look friendly, careful, helpful, beautiful, and generous. To what you see her on the screen, do you think she is single or taken? Raise your hand if how many of you think that she was taken. Raise your hand. Okay, okay, okay. So how many of you think she was single and raise your hand? Oh, I think the amount of people who raising their hand because of sin, like she's single is more than people who think she was taken, right? Okay. So by just seeing her, stop looking at her and look at me instead. By the beautiful by what you see me in here with the beautiful hair, my clothes fashionable. Do you think the girl that I show you at the moment was single or I am single? Raise your hand if you think I am now single. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. And raise your hand if you think I am now taken. Oh wow, that means I'm not looking attractive enough, right? Okay, okay. So now, today, that is why I want to bring up the most painful story of the girl that I have shown you at the moment that led her to almost kill herself years ago after a one comment after she lost her relationship. So that means that girl that I show you at the moment was taken. Under the topic of why do insulting words matter? Years ago, that girl that I mentioned at the moment was in a relationship with a man. A man who she proudly to have. A man that she, a man that she usually told people that he was everything she wanted. He was always proud to have him in her hand. And either either him feel the same. They both love each other so much. In the shoot and worldwide. There is no such a comfortable place where they both belong to each other. The man come to her, reach out to her and tell her she was everything he wanted. He want her to be the mother of her son, of his son and his daughter. After listening to his word, the girl trusts him all of her everything because he loved him. He trusted everything about him until she provide him everything, everything that she can no longer own. When it comes to the word virginity loss, it probably sounds so general and simple for European culture. But in Cambodia, as a woman, when it comes to the word virginity loss, it might quite feel so impure, important, sensitive. Most of women in Cambodia are forbidden from having sexual intercourse before she getting married, right? If she tried to do this, you would face the pressure, the core pressure, culture, norm that the culture tells you not to do. However, after a half year later, her relationship with her boyfriend was so unhealthy and everything she expected was unexpected and they finally break up. But because she was clinging on the restriction of culture. She was afraid. She was afraid, like how could she face the society? She was afraid. What did her husband know? That she already did something with somebody? What about her family, her friend, her future? How could she face it? That is the reason why she begged the man not to leave her. Baby, please don't leave me. I beg you. I beg you if you leave me, have you ever thought what the problem that I could face? I could not live alone without you. I am so unhappy. All of the reasons that I depicted at the moment were making her devastatedly depressed, sad, 
and she lost her confidence, motivation, and everything about her until she couldn't be herself anymore. One day, she thinks, if I still keep not talking about that reason to the people, if I still keep hiding myself and lock myself in the room, just like when I go to school, when sorry, when she was when she uh, when she went to school or when she worked to, went to work, she just hide all of the problems, smile to people, but then when she walked back home, she cried loudly, when nobody when nobody wanted to listen to her. So she said she told me she needed help. She needed help from people. She wanted to express herself on social media, and this is the journey where she started to be a blogger. One day, she write an article talking in Khmer, Kon Lachnam, Tang Khlon Chim Menu Srai, Yum Lun Tu Song Pek Bat Chum Menu Prok Menek Kum Ao Cha Chim Pin Nieng, Tang Dai Khlon Ai Thua Sap Krup Bai Bia Nam Bai Menu Prok Menek Nong. A half year, trying to beg a man, persuading her boyfriend not to leave her, even though she did and sacrificed everything for her. But what she's supposed to hear is the help, the needs from people around her. Especially tell her, don't give up on life. She wants your inspiration, motivation from everybody. But that one command had destroyed her. As what you see on the screen, he said, she's a whore, she's a sludge, she's a bitch. She already have slept with a man. How could we give value to her? She shouldn't be trusted. She shouldn't be valued as a woman in Cambodia. Poor girl, her body like this. Give me free, I still don't want her. That is all the word that she heard. You can read it if you want me to read in Khmer. I think you probably you should read it yourself because in, in Khmer word it quiet like that all those harassing words are so sensitive, right? Yeah. So after seeing all of those comments, her hand went so trembled. Her hand she don't know what to do. Like how? She just want to need, she just suck. She just want to need some help from people. But everything turned out to be like that. The only thing that she can do is the sleeping pill. That is the only thing that stayed close to her the most. She tried to reach out the sleeping pill and tell me, if it's hard to breathe without my boyfriend like this, if it's hard to face all the pressure in society like this, if it's hard to feel the face that I am Cambodian woman, but she couldn't be a Cambodian woman because she already break the culture. She want to die, and now she's gone. So may I pay my deep condolence to the girl that I have mentioned at the moment. Without that one comment, Without all those insulting words online, she might be here telling you or she need help, you can inspire her. And today, that is why I am here. I want to bring up a story because I am not Sydney today. I am the new version of Sydney who take over her body and tell everyone that cyber bullies is a hidden crime that can kill people without realizing. So why? Why do you need to exaggerate the story online like this? Why? Why do you need to blame people online like this? Is it make you fun? Is it make you cool? No. You are, when you're trying to do this, it's just like you are trying to provide people another example for them to take the similar role as you are. So can, how, can you imagine that how many people would face the difficulty? How many people would follow the same path as the girl that I mentioned, committed suicide or whatever, or she lost hope, confidence, and not and try to give up online or whatever? Can you imagine this perspective? So stop, stop cyber bully people online. If you don't want to be a troublemaker in this society, 
According to one research, on cyberbullying in South Carolina of adolescent girls have depicted that more than 1,200 girls who study in South Carolina have told that when after they got cyberbullied, they feel it affected her mental health a lot. It increased their emotional response and also made them scared. So here, like I told you, that is not only the girl that I mentioned at the moment that faced the difficulty, but other girl also. So, in here, I would like to say you, I would like to tell you that, last but not least, to all the victim people who face the cyber bully at any form, please stay strong, please believe in yourself, don't use other people's words to defeat you, to, to destroy how potential and how beautiful you are. Without providing scenery of fully self-love again, that girl might be not the founder of switching who trying to switch every culture and perspective in this society. She wouldn't be a community leader that have a big influence on youth to fight, to stay strong, confident, and motivation until now. And she also not become an author of her book, which is writing about her motivational and biography of her own love life. That book is not just a book, but it is the spirit of the new communication of the new start of the new generation of women that we need to to ban and to stop some culture restriction. So, I have last message for you. Cyberbullies is a hidden crime. Sure because you can kill people without realizing. Harassing is, harassment is immorality, because it's so the people who you are. Are you trying to objectify women on sex topic or what? Or are you trying to object, objectify women on her body or what? Please think about it. And also, masquerading is a trick. Masquerading is of something, is the way or the action that you're trying to fake somebody's account, fake your, your own identity. So that means if you're trying to fake an account online, it means you are trying to trick people. But believe that only the power of support and unity is the action to beat those issues. And it all starts from us to make a well online being, use social media, use media in a very effective way way and properly. So, time to wake up. Wake up with me. Thank you for coming here. Let our day peacefully.